and welcome to the TR Business Video Channel. I'm here with Philip Marguerite, who is the Senior Vice President Global Travel Retail for Coty. Uh, we're in Paris today and in close proximity to the Grand Musée du Parfum, which is particularly apt, seeing as Coty is now the number one fragrance company in the world, if I'm, if I'm right there. So I think it's particularly apt following the purchase of the 41 brands from Procter & Gamble. Uh, now, my first question for you today actually refers to that point. Um, obviously, this was a, a major, major move for you guys and, and, and obviously game-changing for the industry as well. Um, can you tell us how the duty-free and travel retail oper operators have reacted to this? Uh, thank you, Charlotte. I'm very happy to be there first. But uh, yes, it was, uh, I would say, a first uh, moment of surprise from the, the key retailers and partners. But uh, I think that immediately they understood the benefits that this would bring to the travel retail industry. And uh, the first one is that uh, Coty is the pure player in beauty. And therefore, our growth is uh, only generated by our ability to grow the market. Therefore, they are very interested to have one focused company uh, to this beauty market, which is so important for, for them. The second uh, thing that is also important is that uh, we are granting them an easier way to do the business because travel retail is a common organization to the all three divisions that we have in uh, Coty. And therefore, with one sole interlocutor, you can have all what relates into uh, travel retail. Mm -hmm. And the second thing that is also uh, very strong uh, in this merger is the fact that we are leveraging e and combining two different mindsets. Mm -hmm. uh, Procter & Gamble was very well known in the industry for its consumer insight knowledge mm -hmm. and also for some advanced in-store execution, while Coty was much more known for its agility and creativity. Mm -hmm. Now we have both together, we, have, we are leveraging both together, and I think that our uh, key retailers uh, are beneficiating from that. Mm -hmm. And of all these, these brands, can you tell us which ones you're going to prioritize, uh, particularly in the, in the duty-free and travel retail market? So of course, OPI is today the most important brand that we have in travel retail. It's the preferred nail brand for the travelers, more than 56% of market share in the nail category, which is absolutely huge. Mm. It's a fantastic jewel, and we are continuing, of course, to develop this brand across the globe. Mm. in color expertise, but also in nail care. Mm -hmm. We are also looking at an uh, underdeveloped category in travel retail, which is the uh, hair care, where uh, we are uh, actually working on a new project in order to build on the expertise of the salon professionals mm. and trying to bring something completely new and different to our retailers, uh, but trying to develop this category, which is today not really present in travel retail. Mm -hmm. So, so lots going on, an awful lot going on. Um, it, I know that digitalization is, is also a, a core part of your strategy going forward. Can you tell us a bit more about that side uh, of your strategy? Digitalization is uh, one of our key priorities in 2017, actually. And uh, this represents two main topics. The first one is uh, that we want to develop much more partnership with our retailer in order to enhance the efficiency of that platform. And this mm -hmm. means to be able to engage through that platform, but also to be able to engage with our traveler and consumer within the store. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, we created this year a new department, 100% focused on digitalization. We are starting to partner already with some key retailers around the globe. So this is one of our key objectives. But uh, digitalization means also for us an improvement in our own tool within Coty. Mm -hmm. We want to have better tools to be able to deliver a better service to the consumer and to our key partners. And therefore, we are looking at how to modernize our tools in terms of marketing investment, in-store execution, or even in terms of bringing to our sales force in the field our beauty advisor better service. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's digitalization for us, mm -hmm. inside and outside. Sure, and uh, obviously that is a, is a key priority for you guys. Can you mention some of the other priorities you have for the business in 2017, particularly in duty-free and travel retail? So apart from the uh, digitalization, which is one of the key, one we have a major uh, priority in travel retail. Uh, as you may know, uh, the conversion rate, so it means the number of travelers that are buying in the travel retail industry is quite low because it's only 16%. Mm -hmm. So it means that 84% of the travelers are going through our shops, but they are not really shopping there. 
and therefore uh, we can really leverage a huge growth into the market if we are able to improve this ratio. To give you a, a figure, if we were able to go from 16 to 17 percent, this would represent more than 6 percent growth mm -hmm. additional to the market. We are starting to work with our key retailers in order to build up uh, this ratio and to be able to convert more people into the buy in the shop. Mm -hmm. How are we doing that? We are doing that in trying to disrupt the in-store execution, to break what we call the autopilot, in order to stop the people and to make this shopping moment a very unique and memorable moment. Mm -hmm. And therefore, our objective will be to try to convert more people into the buy into the shop with the help of the retailer. So this is the number two priority that uh, we have. Mm -hmm. The third one is clearly uh, our people. Mm -hmm. um, we have more than 800 uh, beauty advisors worldwide, uh, covering more than 55 different nationalities. And you can imagine it's not easy to mm -hmm. have all of them, uh, you know, uh, always uh, engaging with our consumer on a daily basis. That's why one of our objectives is to, is to have in all key airports um, platinum uh, acknowledged mm -hmm. people uh, beauty advisors. Uh, Platinum is our program that we developed to train them, mm -hmm. to train them in two different aspects. The first one is the knowledge of the brands, the mm -hmm. DNA of the brands, but also the product, of course. And the second part is also the selling techniques. Mm -hmm. And when you reach this platinum level, mm -hmm. then you are probably one of the best uh, professional uh, in the industry uh, through the Coty Travel Retail Academy program. Therefore, our objective is to have in all key airports platinum uh, beauty advisors because their dedication, their professionalism is key mm -hmm. uh, in order to engage with the consumer. So when you put all together our objective to grow the conversion, digitalization that is helping this, mm -hmm. our beauty advisors that, that are also uh, trained in order to engage even better with the consumer, then you see that we are really all coherent and convergent into a strong increase of the business in travel retail overall. Mm. There are some very exciting projects in the pipeline that I know that you can't go into detail about just now, but it, uh, from what I know already, it does sound like it's going to be a very interesting year in duty-free and travel retail. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. I must also say that we have an even more detailed interview appearing in the May issue of TR Business, so you can look forward to reading that too. So it's uh, thank you and goodbye. It has been my pleasure. Thank you very much.